All right, I just put out a video about how to get perfect trim, and this is gonna be a video about another way to get perfect trim. We're gonna start with doing the same sort of thing here, though. Marking out a quarter inch all the way around. Okay. Okay, we've got our four corners marked out. And what we're gonna try to do this time is actually measure these. So we've got 32 and 3 eighths. And this is gonna be doing the best I can in the situation, which is gonna be a little bit rough. Looks like we're pretty close to 32 and 3 eighths again. So that's good. We at least have a parallelogram. Maybe. This doesn't quite define it as a parallelogram yet. Never mind. We got two sides that are the same length. And we got 21 and 5 eighths. Nope, we don't. 21 and 5 eighths plus. And then over here, 21 and a half. Let's recheck this one. Could I get away with 21 and a half? That's really, yeah, that's 5 eighths for sure. So if we go to 5 eighths, we had a 16th on either side there. I'm okay to be a 16th wider than a 16th more narrow. More narrow is easier to see. So we'll go to 21 and 5 eighths and take off the plus. All right, down to the miter saw. And once again, because my miter saw is trash, we get to try to square that out. Something I'm doing here that's a little bit different from the last time you saw me do this on a YouTube video is I have raised up this corner with a little shim here. It's pretty close to exactly the same height as the back and this will help the angle be a little bit more accurate. But it's still a bit of a fuss trying to get these lined up exactly. This time we are going to cut to the inside corners, which is never the most fun for me. But we are showing the other way that people do this, so that's okay. And what we're gonna do we're gonna get the board right this corner on the edge of this. And we're gonna really hope that this doesn't, I mean, so, okay, we can tighten that down. That'll help a bit. Now if I pull on that, that's gonna lift it up. This is why I don't like doing it this way. There's not a really great way with the stuff that I have to do this, but we can try. 21 and 5 eighths. There we go. can use this guy to try to get them exactly the same. Which means we're gonna have to mark it and then try to cut it. And then fuss and fuss and fuss. We get this lined up here, exactly. And we are looking pretty okay. Those will do for one end. Okay, that is just pencil or scratch, but it's not actually texture. Now these ones, need to be 32 and 3 eighths. So that's pretty good. We'll keep that there as a reference. We'll get this corner cut, and then we can do the same mark it in place, and hopefully get those two to be identical as well. Get this lined up perfectly. Check it over here. And we are perfect at both ends. Instead of putting each piece up underneath the attic hatch and then working overhead an awful lot, I'm going to pre-assemble this on the floor. And to do that, I'm gonna be using the zip kicker and the CA glue again, except this isn't the CA glue. This is the CA glue. And I'm going to be gluing all the miters together, then I will have basically one frame that I can lift up in place, get it perfect in one corner, nail that corner in, work around the other corner, and then we should be pretty okay. The only thing I need to make sure of is that underneath all of my joints here, I've got something I can use to separate from whatever surface I'm working on. And for me, that is this little bit of foam, but you might have a workbench or one of those really fancy people with like those expandable spider table-y things. So here we go. Spray the kicker on, put the glue on, and then line them up as best as I possibly can. And that is pretty okay. Hold that there for a minute. Rinse and repeat three more times after we open the window because it stinks. And for this, every time I'm putting the kicker on the piece that is free to move, 
and the glue on the piece that is more difficult to move because it's on the floor. And once again, do my best to get these lined up nice and tight. Got a little bit of a height difference here. I don't know if that's the material itself or if that's my bad alignment or my bad cutting, but it's not too bad. You can hear a bit of a catch and a bit of a catch. And pretty soon we get to find out how well I set up my miter saw. Oh, it looks I did okay. It looks I did okay. It looks like I did okay. Now I kicked that in, but I didn't glue this end. So we can, yeah, you know what? That's not bad. Just come along in here, get some glue in. Make sure I've got my paper under. Those are probably about the best 45s I've made ever. So yay to that. And then while I'm putting this stuff away, the glue should have enough time to cure up. Away, back on the cart of totally unorganized. So I'm trying to decide which kind of nail, which length of nail, it's the same kind of nail, which length of nail I wanna use. And I'm remembering that this piece is mostly underneath the two by four. So I can use whatever I want because that is a piece of solid wood. I don't remember what kind of wood it is. Right now it's white wood. It's backed by two by four, so I can use whatever length I want. It won't blow through. I don't have to worry like I do on window jam extensions that if I use too long of a nail, it'll be more likely to pop out the side of the window jam. So since more metal is more good, we'll use the longer nails. All right, well, one of them didn't glue on. Oh, no, two of them didn't glue on. That's not too bad. Let's see how much fun this is. I think maybe I should have a piece of tape. Lol. You know what? A piece of tape might actually help a lot with this. There we go. That should do a little bit better. If I get this one corner, should be able to start wrangling the others. Should. Then we go over here. We are super duper not even. So we'll try to get this corner. And then we'll try to lean it that way. And I think we might be able to. Well, that is as good as that's gonna get. It's not anywhere near as good as I would like it to be, or as the windows were. But as you can see from my building the attic hatch video, link somewhere, this thing isn't square because the hatch isn't square because Framer was doing a, a pretty quick job of things. So I won't beat myself up for this not being perfect. It's going to never be noticed. And I can just get it done and move on with my evening. Oh, a clamp? Well, then the head should be open and now we get cold. So what I'm doing here to try to clean this edge up a little bit is bringing my nails in. I'm more likely to hit some lumber and I'm angling them in too. So I'll push this up. Bring the nail in, angle it in, and I'm more, not guaranteed, but more likely to get some structure. That is gonna have to do. It will get caulked around the outside, and I will actually be coming along right away and start speckling these holes. But that is one of the other ways that I know how to put trim up. I don't like it very much, but it makes for some content. 